Welcome to Knowledge Plaza. Click on subscribe button. Click on bell icon and select all. And thumbs up for more videos. Namaste. Once again, welcome to Knowledge Plaza YouTube channel. It's all about mathematics. So today, as I'm before you to discuss about the topic quadratic equation and that nature of roots of the quadratic equation. Okay. So let us discuss about the topic. Before going to topic, we must have to know the nature of the roots, how they are depend and what quantity they are depend. Okay, let us discuss about it. So, we know that the quadratic equation in the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is a general form or standard form of the quadratic equation. Here, a is not equal to 0 and a, b, c are any real numbers and also we know the uh, quadratic formula to find the roots for the given quadratic equation that is x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a as a quadratic formula to find the roots for the given quadratic equations okay so here the roots nature of the roots is depends on the quantity that is b square minus 4ac okay as the b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 the roots exist are real roots real root means the obtaining roots are real numbers okay and b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then the roots obtaining are equal roots okay the roots obtaining are equal roots and if b square minus 4ac is less than 0, then the roots are not real. That means no real roots. Obtaining roots are no real. No real means they are not the real numbers. They are the imaginary numbers. Okay. For about the imaginary numbers, you are going to learn in higher studies. Okay. So now just remember the point that if the quantity b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then root obtaining are imaginary roots that means the quantity under the root square root is negative the quantity under the negative uh, root is negative then we cannot express it in the positive form or we cannot know the sorry we are not know the uh, negative root of that number okay so that's why the roots are known as imaginary roots Okay, and b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. The roots open, obtaining are equal roots. That means it is a perfect square a quadratic equation. Okay, and b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. Then you will getting the two real distinct roots. Okay, so here the quantity b square minus 4ac is the discriminant. Discriminant for the quadratic equation okay which means it describes the nature of the roots whether they are real roots or no not real roots or equal roots okay so that's why it is known as the discriminant be the quantity v square minus 4 ac is the discriminant and it can be denoted as d is equal to capital d or small letter d which is equal to v square minus 4 ac okay is the discriminant for the quadratic equation which gives the nature of the roots okay and for the examination purpose there may be asking question for one mark or two mark question if the question will be asking for one mark it may be what is the nature of the root okay the roots obtaining from this quadratic equation are positive roots or real roots or uh, equal roots so the multiple choice question will be asking or for the very short ones the question will be asking what is the nature of the roots like this question and for two marks what is the nature of the roots and fi hence find the roots of the given quadratic equation okay like this question will be asking for your examination so from this uh, concept there will be uh, two or three mark questions is compulsory okay so keep remember the points b square minus 4ac is, is greater than 0, b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 and b square minus 4ac is less than 0 and these conditions. 
okay these conditions has to remember when we are going to say the nature of the fruits okay so let us discuss about uh, the concept by having some examples okay let us discuss about the example find the discriminant of the equation 3x square minus 2x plus 1 by 3 is equal to 0 and hence find the nature of the roots okay find them if they are real okay here we have to find the discriminant and then we have to say the what is the nature of the roots and also we have to find if they are real okay so we know that the discriminant of the quadratic equation that is d is equal to d square minus 4 ac okay in the given quadratic equation in this equation the values of a b c are the value of a is 3 value of b is minus 2 and c value is 1 by 3 okay let us uh, simplify here b square means uh, minus 2 whole square minus 4 into a is 3 and c is 1 by 3 okay now minus 2 whole square is uh, plus 4 minus here 3 ones are 3 ones are get cancels and what is left 4 only 4 into 1 means 4 only and it becomes 0 so if the discriminant becomes 0 then what will be the nature of the root nature of the root is 2 equal roots are there for the given quadratic equation okay therefore 2 real equal roots are exist for the given quadratic equation okay two real equal roots because d is equal to zero because d is equal to zero then we say that the, there exist two equal real roots okay so find them if they are real so roots option are real so we have to find them okay let us find them by uh, quadratic formula method or uh, factorization method okay which one is easy to solve or to find we can apply them so here we can apply the quadratic formula to find the roots okay let us apply we know the quadratic equation quadratic formula that is x is equal to minus b plus or minus root d because we already found the value of d divided by 2a okay x is equal to minus b minus b means uh, it is plus a plus or minus uh, plus of minus uh, minus of minus it becomes a plus uh, and it is 2 plus or uh, minus root d root d means uh, it is 0 only because we found that 2 into a a is 3 okay then x is equal to 2 uh, square root of 0 means 0 only if I add that is 0 with the 2 we are getting that only so 2 by 6 so 2 by 6 means 2 1s are 2 3s are it means 1 by 3 therefore x is equal to 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 are the two equal roots okay so you can uh, you may have the confusion that so root of 10 is 1 only then how can you write the two roots so it has quadratic equations always has the two roots if it is obtained only single we have to consider it double okay so let us discuss about the next example okay. let us discuss about the next example that is find the discriminant of the equation 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 is equal to 0 and let's find the nature of the roots and also find the roots if they are real okay so let us discuss about it Firstly, we need to find the uh, discriminant for the given equation. That is, b is equal to b square minus 4ac. This has to write. It has a half marks when they are asked for uh, one mark question. Okay. Next, b square is minus 4 root 3 whole square. Right. Minus 4 into a is 3 and c is 4. Okay. Now, simplify it minus 4 whole square means it is 16 into root 3 whole square means 3 only minus here 4 3 is a 12 12 to 12 4 is a 48 then 16 3 is a 48 48 minus 48 that is equal to 0 so discriminant obtained is 0 then 
what is the nature of the roots what will be the nature of the roots nature of the roots is two equal real roots two equal real roots are exist okay the quadratic equation has two equal real roots and then we have to find them by applying the quadratic formula so let us apply it x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b by 2k this is also the quadratic formula okay minus b minus b means uh, minus uh, minus of minus it becomes a uh, 4 root 3 plus or minus uh, root b root b is 0 by 2a 2a means 2 into 3 okay so now 4 root 3 by 2 into 3 2 1s are 2 2 2s are so 2 into root 3 by 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3 so root 3 root 3 get cancelled we will getting 2 by root 3 so therefore x is equal to 2 by root 3 and 2 by root 3 are the roots for the given quadratic equation or you may stop here only that means 2 root 3 by 3 it is enough for that or if you want to do continue you may write this one okay so in this way I have to find the roots for the given quadratic equation when they are asked to find the discriminant and then find the nature of the roots and then uh, Real, uh, find them if they are real okay so this question will be asking for if they are asked the three of the discriminant and then nature of the roots uh, and then uh, find them if they are uh, real this will be for two mark question okay if they are asked the directly what is the nature of the roots first you need to find the discriminant and then you have to say okay let us discuss about the next few more examples about the next example that is find the discriminant of the equation 2x square minus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0 and hence find the nature of the roots find them if they are real okay so let us discuss about it firstly we need to find the discriminant d is equal to d square minus 4ac we are getting b square is minus 6 whole square minus 4 into a is 2 and c is 3 okay minus 6 whole square is 36 minus 4 2 is 8 8 3 is 24 we are getting so d is equal to 5 that means d is greater than 0 d is greater than 0 okay if the d is greater than 0 then roots obtaining will be they are distinct roots distinct roots distinct real roots Okay, roots of the distinct real roots is the nature of the roots and let us find them because they are real so we have to find them okay let us x is equal to minus b minus b means uh, minus of minus it becomes plus 6 plus or minus uh, root d root d means uh, 12 root 12 by 2 into 2 6 plus or minus root 12 can be written as uh, 2 root 3 because 12 can be written as a root 4 into 3 root 4 into 3 means a root 4 is 2 and root 3 as it is 2 root 3 okay divided by 2 to the 4 now here plus or minus there no so we have to consider once as plus and once as negative we are getting x is equal to 6 plus 2 root 3 by 4 it can also be written as a here 2 is common there in the numerator let us common out it 2 3 plus root 3 3 plus root 3 by 4 that means it becomes 1 by 2 right 3 plus root 3 by 2 is one of the root okay and one more root x is equal to 6 minus 2 root 3 by so 4 then will be what will be the equal, uh, root 3 minus root 3 by 2 okay so in this way we have to find the roots for the given quadratic equation 
okay so let us see one more example let us see the next example find the discriminant of the equation 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0 and I'll find the nature of the roots and if they find the roots if they are found real okay let us see we are actually we have to find the discriminant then it is equal to d square b square means uh, minus 3 whole square minus uh, 4 into uh, 4 into a a is 2 into c 5 okay then minus 3 whole square is uh, 9 then 4 to the 10 uh, 4 to the 8 8 5 is a 8 5 is a 40 so it is equal to minus 31 d is equal to minus 31 if d is less than 0 that means negative numbers are always the less than 0 so that's why d is less than 0 when they are whenever the d discriminant is less than 0 then roots will be they are no real roots okay nature of the roots is no real roots that means imaginary roots therefore no real roots will exist okay so we have to find the roots only when they are real so if they are not real we cannot find them okay so it is an important question okay so let us discuss uh, some more cases about about this uh, nature of the roots by using this nature of the roots we can solve some more examples which are quite different okay let us discuss about the next example and this like question will be asking for two mark question okay in the examination uh, maybe asking for one mark question multiple in the multiple choice question or maybe asking for a two mark question okay let us discuss about it let us see the example find the values of the k for the quadratic equation 2x square plus kx plus 3 is equal to 0 so that it has two equal roots okay so let us discuss about it so here what they are given quadratic equation is given okay let us write it firstly 2x square plus kx plus 3 is equal to 0 and here are the values of a b c are a is equal to 2 b is equal to k and c is equal to 3 now we have to find the value of k right so to find that value of k what they are given here come it has two equal roots two equal roots means discriminant is equal to c okay what is the discriminant of the quadratic equation d is equal to b square minus f o a c according to the condition they are given the equation has a two equal roots that means c d is equal to c form b square is k square minus 4 into a is 2 into c is 3 okay then k square minus 4 to the 8 8 3 is a 24 0 is equal to k square minus 24 then k square is equal to 24 it comes to the left side it becomes plus 24 then k is equal to plus or minus root 24 that means uh, plus or minus root 24 means it is it will become root 2 root 6 because root 24 can be written as a root 6 into 4 so root uh, 4 is 2 and root 6 as it is okay the before the value of k is plus or minus root uh, plus or minus 2 root 6 okay so in this way i have to find the value of k so like this question will be asking for one mark question or two mark question okay so in this way i have to solve the given equation according to the condition what they are given okay so hope you understand the video what is there in that what is the content in that video okay uh, if you have any doubts in this video, you may ask in the comment box. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel. If you want to notify, you will have to press the bell icon which is uh, which is below the uh, subscription button. Okay. If you want to get notified, you have to press the bell icon which is on the right side of the subscription button. Okay. So, please keep watching the channel and prepare for the examination. Now, there is uh, no much time. For your examination keep practicing the uh, subject or the content is there for your syllabus okay thank you